what I want to do is to make a composite image. It's a very windy day today. I'm hoping that we've got some big waves hitting the old posts of the piers that are down by the lake. To get a shorter shutter speed where the waves are crashing against the piers but I also want to get a longer shutter speed because we have some really neat dappled clouds today. It's quite windy. Lots of mud, lots of birds. Spring is coming. <laughs> I can see the lake, it looks incredible. And it looks choppy. So, fingers crossed. bit of a complication. There's a new sign up. <laughs> it's a little more than just to keep out. I'll show you. So I'm not going to wander into that, but on the other side, on the other side, there's another sign and that's the conservation area. So unless I go in through the other entrance and pay, I've got about 20 feet to work with here. So while the waves are coming in, they're not quite hitting the shore as roughly as I'd hoped. So I'm gonna have to consider what to do here. It's still beautiful. I still see that there are images here. There must be, <laughs> but, and I'm still thinking I can work on a composite. First I have to work on a composition. So I'm going to get out my camera and one thing that I like to do when I'm searching for a composition is get out my camera, put my bag down and just kind of search the area handheld and see what it looks like. Woo! <laughs> Wind! All right. All right, the composition's not wonderful, but I'm gonna try and work with it here. So I have one post in the water and uh, a couple of lower ones just off to the side. Putting the post in the middle, which isn't uh, thrilling, but if I can get some motion and activity in the sky and get the right waves coming in, it might work. I'm going to try it. I'm on ISO 50. I have a polarizer on because it affects both the water and the sky. And it looks pretty. <laughs> and it's giving me 
1 20th of a second at f9.5. I want it to be about just under a second because that'll give me some motion but not too much motion and I am just don't have the two second timer on it's too difficult got the thing as steady as possible and I'm just taking a few million <laughs> photos of the waves. Ooh, that was a nice one. All right, I think I caught a few waves there that were pretty neat. Now what I'm going to do is add the three-stop graduated neutral density filter to bring down the sky a bit, and also the seven-stop neutral density filter so that I can get a long exposure. The, oh, the wind is brutal. <laughs> so the clouds are not really moving as much as I'd like, but I won't know until I do it. So I'm going to try this. So I'm starting off with 30 seconds. It may not be enough. I might have to put it on bulb mode, which allows me to go longer than 30 seconds to get enough movement in the clouds. We'll see. It's not bad. And <laughs> the, the really smooth water at the bottom is neat too. I'll, uh, I'll see, I might use both. I can see my horizon's not quite straight. <laughs> okay, let me show you. F19, ISO 50, 30 seconds for the longer exposure. I may still adjust it to go longer. I like that quite a bit. There's motion in the cloud, but it's not insane. It's not crazy. <laughs> Still, let's try some other stuff. This is the three stop and then the seven stop neutral density filter. So with bulb mode, I need to uh, grab either my remote control <laughs> or a shutter release cable. I don't have the shutter release, but I do have the remote control. I'm gonna time out about 45 seconds. Just might give me that extra bit of movement in the cloud. Okay, if you don't have one, I highly recommend a remote. They're so useful. If you wanna do any night sky photography, go for it. All right, this time I'm on F22, ISO 50. Seven stop plus three stop, neutral grad. Ready? All right, let's do this. And it's going. How do I time it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's about 30. So on this, I push the shutter button or I can push the two second button for a two second timer. And then I push it again to stop the exposure. Five, four, three, two, one. And, oh yeah, that's kind of cool. You're gonna have to look in here because it's kind of bright out. It's great. And the bonus is that the wind is pushing the clouds towards me. So the composition, it looks kind of like, ooh, like it's coming at you with the cloud. I love it. So I'm gonna do it again because I was walking around these stones a simple thing like walking on the stones beside your tripod can make it move. So uh, it can make a problem for motion blur. So now I'm using the two second timer. Five, 
four, three, two, one, and it's done. Okay, a tip guys, if you are not on a solid surface ugh, and the wind is like this, do not turn your back on your camera. Mine just went face down. Can you see that? That used to be my polarizer. <laughs> I know, I shouldn't be laughing, it's terrible. Um, but if I look at the bright side, it was the polarizer, it wasn't the lens. So, uh. <laughs> all right, ah, wind. All right, next step are to get home and put these images together. And I'm going to use Photoshop. I love Photoshop. I love using Photoshop. It's not going to be an automatic blend. I'm just going to take them and by hand, I'm going to put them together and make a composite image. And I'm guessing that you might like to see some of that or some of the tips as to how to put more than one image together. It's actually not that hard, but it does take masking, a little bit of knowledge about masking. <laughs> I'm gonna put the lens cover back on here and get myself ready to head back to the computer. Next video, we will talk in my office, in Photoshop and Lightroom, and see how to make a composite image. And once you get this, guys, the creative possibilities are endless. It is just so much fun. And uh, hopefully, I can make it pretty easy for you to get started, okay? Thanks for coming along, guys. And oh, I wanted to just update you that um, the workshops are selling out. <laughs> if, uh, if anybody has any questions uh, regarding, you know, the current situations out there and uh, travel, that kind of thing, please just send me an email. I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, we are really looking forward to, to getting together. If travel's not in the cars for you, I have one-to-one -one workshops available. So either shoot me an email or check my website and I would love to meet with you one-on-one on, -one on uh, online, video, audio, we can uh, share screens. I can help you out with whatever it is that you're working on, photo, video, anything, uh, anything related to that. All right, so thanks for coming along guys and I hope that you're having a great day. Remember, there's always something to smile about. There's always something wonderful and uh, and here it is. <laughs> I don't have a polarizer, but I have all of this. It is awesome. Okay, bye guys.